Three, two, one, ignition. All stations, we have liftoff of the... NASA launched a U.S. Air Force Minotaur-1 rocket carrying the Department of Defense's Operationally Responsive Space Office's ORS-1 satellite June 29th from the range at Wallops Flight Facility in the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport in Virginia. The ORS-1 satellite is significant because it's the first uh, completely DOD, Department of Defense, owned and operated satellite. Rapidly developing and fielding ORS-1 is an important step to demonstrate the capability to meet emerging and persistent warfighter needs on operationally relevant timelines. You can imagine that if you were deployed out in some very remote part of the world, uh, not knowing what was over the next ridge line would be a big concern. A satellite like ORS-1 will actually allow them to understand what is over that ridge line and uh, both good and bad. The Minotaur-1 rocket is a four-stage vehicle that stands about 70 feet tall and five feet wide. The launch vehicle tonight is uh, provided by Orbital Sciences Corporation. This is a Minotaur-1 launch vehicle. The first and second stages are leftover and retrofitted ICBM motors. The upper two stages are commercial motors. The Operationally Responsive Space Office and Department of Defense dedicated this launch to the Medal of Honor winners from the U.S. Central Command Area of Operation.